Why, hello there, you sexy bees, Vaddy were here, and welcome to another episode of Skyrim Mods, Boobs and Lubes. My followers and I are getting drunk and enjoying some high definition beverages from the previous episode. However, I want to drink with someone new. Dayon, the Shield Master custom voice follower by Winter Mayfly, is the first follower of her kind that I have reviewed, and I welcome her to my group. She can be found in the Bannered Mare in Whiterun, and she speaks Korean. 잘 지내셨나요? So let's listen to her voice as we speak with her. 당신의 의지와 함께 할 것입니다. 기다리는 건 싫은데 너무 늦으면 안 돼요? 그 말을 기다렸어요. 무슨 일이신가요? 와, 할게요. 뭐든지 할게요. 뭘 하면 되나요? 좋아요. 무엇이 필요하신가요? 네, 보고 싶을 거예요. She also has her own dialogue and idle chatter. Oh, Dayon, I, I could make you much more drenched and wet, yes, if you know what I mean. Huh? <laughs> uh. Oh, Dayon, that's just hippie talk. Are you a hippie, a peace hippie? Mm -mm. Some fried chicken would be awesome. When Dayon gets hit, she makes a very cute squeaky sound every time she gets hit. And apparently, she is bad at offense and good at defense. And right now, she is battling this orc right here, and she does her best to block and tank the damage. But yeah, every time she uh, gets hit, or she blocks, she makes those cute sounds. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. It's so uh so adorable, yes. For blood, for glory. Now she seems to be wearing a mixture of equipment from uh, different mods like the Sovereign Armor by Eureka, Raider Armor by Kuruse, Hot Panzer by Suke, and Sword and Shield of Roto by Gimora. Now I would say that Koreans have a pretty good taste in aesthetics for a follower. <laughs> yes, Korean girls are pretty hot, you know. Now, do I have any Korean viewers? Shout yourself out, especially if you're a Korean girl. Yes, yes. <laughs> Shout yourself out, girl. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah, I think she will be an awesome drinking partner. Yes, let's have a good time with my new partner. Oh man, my my head kind of hurts. Oh, I, I think we we drank too much and party too hard. And uh, whoa, what the? Uh, what am I wearing? Hestia outfit. You win PB BBP by Bizarre Style is an armor based on a popular show. The outfit is based on Hestia's outfit from the anime Danmachi. And I gonna say that this fits our story quite well because I have just the clip for it. <laughs> The Hestia outfit in Skyrim is just like how it is in the manga, anime, or novel. It has a blue bow around the neck, it has these spiky edges on the white dress, and there is a blue ribbon around her, uh, kind of a ribbon around her chest go that, that, that goes around her. Now she does have her trademark ribbons around her twin hair tails. Hestia can be crafted at tanning rack with the outfit under the miscellaneous section and the ribbons under the letter section. Now right here we have the twin tails and it does not come with the outfit, but it is from the mod Twin Tail Hairstyles by Amu Amu, which introduces four twin hair styles to use for your pleasure. Now this is a hairstyle that's recommended by the mod author of Hestia. The first hairstyle we have, we already seen, she has hair covering her forehead, bangs on the side, and twin tails on the back side of the head. Here we have the second hairstyle, which is similar to the first one, except uh, on one side of her forehead, it's kind of showing, there's no hair, and it seems that she has like a stray hair coming out of the top to make it look kind of cute. <laughs> oh, that's so anime style. Now the third hair is the, the twin tails are a little bit shorter, and it's more towards the side of the head. And there's long hair on the back now. The fourth hair is similar to the third, the twin tails are at the same position, however, it's slightly longer with curls at the end. 
the mod also has ribbons that we can use that will go with the twin tails. The ribbons can be crafted at the forge under the miscellaneous section. I am glad that we didn't do anything bad or anything stupid while drunk like getting tattoos that we would regret. Nah, I'm, I, I, I'm just kidding, it's this, it's this paint. Viper's War Paint by Vitvaleka adds high definition war paint that also comes in modules. We can have a full war paint or, or we can choose parts of the full war paint that we want and overlay them on top of each other. Now it works out great, you know, we can have different bits for v different variations. And the war paint also comes in 2K, 4K, and even 8K textures. Viper's War Paints is based on in the girlfriend of the leader of a group of cannibals in a post-apocalyptic world movie called Doomsday. I am also glad that we didn't spend all of our money on expensive toys like Dwarven Blasters by Rob Zom, which is one of my favorite mods for the week. There are three awesome weapons that you can tell that the modder spent quite a lot of time designing. The first gun is the Cryo Blaster and it looks like a highly advanced Dwarven rifle, so it is kind of uh, lower friendly. Now it has kind of a high degree of detailing and deem place into the weapon. Lots of dot place into it. Like the parts of the Cryo Blaster, uh, there are parts of the Cryo Blaster which has been covered with frost which goes well with the ice theme. Uh, we are going to be using the Cryo Blaster, now pay attention to the sounds and the animations of the hands and the gun. Pretty awesome, right? <laughs> now this is what it looks like after the Cryo Blaster has just fired a shot. And right here, uh, nestled on my uh, booty is the Cryogen, which is what the ammo looks like. The second gun is the Flame Door. Again, it's the same concept with an advanced Dwarven rifle, except parts of the gun has been redesigned with the fire theme in mind. For instance, all the gizmos and lights are now yellowish instead of blue like the Cryo Blaster. There are two tanks of flammable liquid on the side. The piping and all the gizmos are different as I said before to match the theme. The effects is kind of smaller for the gun. There isn't like kind of a cool effect like frost. However, there is like a little bit of steam or smoke coming out of the front vent of the gun. Again, let's take a look at the flame door in action. And right here, we see what the flame door looks like after we fire it, napalm. And right here, we have a cartridge of napalm that you could see, again, it's right on my booty. The third gun is the plasma gun. There are three small canisters of plasma on the front of the gun. Now, every single one of these gunners is just so futuristic and well made. However, at the same time, since they're of dwarven design, it kind of fits in with Skyrim. It, it, it's, it's more friendly, no problem. Now the green color of the plasma gun reminds me of maybe boogers or radioactive glue and the plasma gun is a little bit more slimmer than the other two guns because it doesn't have those big canisters like the cryo blaster or flame door had. Alright, time to uh, fire off some boogers, I mean plasma. <laughs> Again, this is what the plasma looks like after it's being fired from the plasma gun. And right here we have the, uh, the cartridge called plasma. This is the ammo. All the weapons and ammo for the dwarven blasters can be found at the forge under the dwarven section. Now for the ammo, there are three different types of ammo, one for each gun. And for the ammo, there are three tears. We have normal, improved, and deadly. Essentially, the higher tier of ammo, the more damage you do. So right now I'm kind of wondering if there are other things that I might have bought while under the influence of alcohol. You know, other stupid or crazy things. But anyways, we might take a look at of more in the next episode. Anyways, I am Vadi. Well, I hope you sexy beasts enjoyed this episode of Skyrim Mods, Boobs and Loops. And make sure to bang that like, subscribe button, and leave a sexy comment or two. And uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter. 
Tumblr or join my Steam group. Yes, links can be found in the video description. I really need your guys' help though. If you want to see more Skyrim mod videos, please make sure to check out my other videos on my channel and give them a like and share. It will help me a lot and I appreciate it. And yeah, well then, <laughs> uh, stay sexy my friends, stay sexy.